Hey YouTube, this is JBBJBA, and today I will show you how to easily install Siri Proxy on Ubuntu um, on my Mac. <clears throat> to start off, you first need Ubuntu. I'm running it on the virtual machine, which is absolutely free. So just go to um, Ubuntu.com, and they have instructions on how to download it there. <clears throat> so once you uh, have Ubuntu open, this is um, you want to install the uh, updates. The update manager should pop up as soon as you install it and give it some time just to install, click install. So um, that's what you need to do first to install the updates. Then what you need to do is um, go and slowly dragging and dropping it into terminal. Then enter my password. Okay. I already have this installed on my machine, so it's not going to need to install anything, but for you, this should take a little bit and it should install all these little programs. Next. So my computer is really slow right now for some reason. Next, you're going to want to edit the dnsmasq.com. So again, we're going to drag and drop. Click enter. And type slash address equals. And then you're going to want to add this file, which is going to be address equals slash kazoni.apple.com slash 192.168. Um, that's my IP address, so right here, you're going to want to add the IP address of your virtual machine. To find that, you're going to want to go to Settings. If it wants to open. System Settings. Well, while it opens, first, um, if you're using a, a wa if your Mac is connected via your wires wireless, you're gonna want to click machine. Then you're gonna do. Uh, you're, sorry, you're gonna want to click devices, network adapters. This is only if you're wireless. Then you'll want to click bridged. It's not. It's not going to be unbridged like that. The default's not going to be, even though your computer's working with Wi-Fi, and like you're just, you're still connected to the internet on the virtual machine. You still have to be attached to bridge, and then you're going to want to select a Wi-Fi airport as name. Click OK. That's going to make it so it doesn't go through um, your com your original computer's Wi-Fi. You want to use your own Wi-Fi. So once you do that, you should go to network. And then this is your IP address right here. So that number you want to have down there. So to do this, all you have to do is just type in A and then enter, then A and then type DDRESS equals slash gazonia.apple.com slash then your IP address right here, which we just showed you how. Then you're going to uh, do pull in when you're finished and do W Q explanation point, and that saves it for you. Then you're gonna want to um, restart the DNS MASQ just by drag and drop the code. Then we want to install RVM. By just dragging and dropping. That should take it. should take a while. Mine's already installed, so like mine's done quickly. But um, it might take a while, so just pause the video and start it up once yours is finished installing. So next, what we're gonna want to do is set the RVM patch path by dragging and dropping. Don't have to hit enter; it does it automatically. 
Then we're gonna also want to set the RBM path to set up every time I log in. So just highlight, drag and drop it. Then you're gonna want to install RVM. This is the big file right here. This should take a while. So um, RVM just finished installing. That took quite a bit. So then we're gonna just want to set uh, RVM to use 1.9.3 as default. So this doesn't take a while at all. It's really quick. So that's done right there. I want to clone the uh, files from Pomoni's website. That's pretty quick, also. Then we're going to uh, move into the Siri proxy folder. We're going to click yes. Trust it. By typing just Y, enter. Then we're going to rake install it. And if you do not do this, um, where if you're on Wi-Fi, wireless, and if you do not do devices, network adapters, and then set it to bridged and Wi-Fi to um, the Wi-Fi, it will not work. I, I was stuck at this for a long time. I didn't know what was wrong, and I was just messing around to figure this out. It looks like it's working, but it just doesn't connect to your iPhone. That's the problem. So I was going crazy over it until I realized such a simple thing fixed it. So make sure that if it's not working at the end that you set that properly. So we finish, it's installed now. And now we just want to create a folder called dot Siri proxy. Very quick also. And now we just want to move the config.example.yml to the dot Siri proxy folder which we just made. It's really quick. Now we just want to create the uh, certificates for our iPhone. Um, that's really quick actually. And then we, um, so our certificates are now made. Um, then we're going to want to do Siri Proxy Bundle. Let's just bump on it. And now what we have to do is just get the um, gen certs on our iPhone for us. To do this, just go to C, uh, type cd space dot siri proxy. I'm going to open a um, new window. Just do cd space dot siri proxy. Then you're going to type n a u t i l u s space, and then you do a period. Click enter. That's going to open a um, folder. And then there is our ca.pem file. You want the ca.pem file on your iPhone to do this. All you have to do is just email to yourself. The easiest way to email to yourself is just copy this, paste it on your desktop. Do not remove it, copy and paste, do not drag and drop. So then the file should be on your desktop. And then go to your email service. For example, if you go to Hotmail, just um, send an email to the email address which is uh, assigned on your phone. So for me, it's my Verizon account on my, on my iPhone. So I just go to my Verizon server or Hotmail.com. I attach um, the phone file on my desktop, send it to my uh, Verizon account. Then on my iPhone, I um, go into my email, open the folder, open the email. Then I just uh, click the attachment. Then it'll give you a warning. Just click I understand, whatever, accept. And then it's installed on your phone. Then all you have to do is on your iPhone, you have to go to settings. Then you go to general settings then you go to network then you go to Wi-Fi 
then there's going to be a little blue arrow next to your Wi-Fi and that brings you to the uh, settings so you're going to leave everything the same, IP address is going to be the same submit mask is going to be the same, router is going to be the same except DNS, delete whatever you have there and put the IP address of your computer remember to find that all you do is just click this gear thing system settings and then network and you're going to want to enter this number right here as your as your DNS so under your Wi-Fi everything is the same except the DNS delete whatever is there and put the your IP address for instance mine is 192.168.1.13 one thing how to start it <laughs> so in terminal you're going to want to type CD capital S Siri capital P proxy click enter then you're going to do RVM sudo Siri proxy server ask for your password click enter enter your password now my um, then I got an error actually so what you have to do if you have to get this error just type ps dash a that's going to open all your um, programs running if it's fine with running but I'm actually running this program on my other account so it's not going to work but once you have it installed uh, type that that should work so you click the home button you're good to go I hope you enjoy guys don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe this is Jibba Bay, Jibba Bay. and if you would like to um, learn how to put um, add-ins or plugins in just watch my other video and the link will be in the description thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed